the difference that that makes. It makes it look so stealthed out. That's only the first one we've done. Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to another video where today you join me with my BMW M2 because it's finally time to make some modifications to this car. As some of you might be aware, I bought it like it is now. I mean, I've not changed anything. When I picked it up, it had the black wheels. There were so many things that I've wanted to do to it, but I just haven't had the chance to get round to doing some mods. And today is finally going to be the day I'm going to go down to Dub Customs and they are going to be carrying out the work. Do not worry. I am not going to be wrapping this car. I think that's pretty certain. I've seen white M2s and I've also obviously seen the Long Beach blue one, which is very, very common. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that one as well, but I really feel it just looks best in the colour that it is and it really would spoil it wrapping it. So what we're going to be doing is doing subtle changes. I really feel by the end of it, it is going to look different, don't get me wrong. The biggest mod that still needs to go on this car is obviously the exhaust. I announced a couple of weeks ago that the exhaust going on there will be a quick silver system and with that comes sort of the really cool carbon fibre tips. So I'm really looking forward to them. And what I also want to get is a rear diffuser for it, as you can see right here. That's sort of just a standard one which comes with the car. That needs to be all carbon fibre that you can get some really cool diffusers. We can see here, straight away, that grill, that needs to go. That silver on the front there, we need to change that. We can't be having it. Looking at the car here, it looks amazing. It really does. We still need to lower it as well. That is all to come. Not today, we won't lower it today, but all this to come. I'm so excited with it. It's like a project car for me. Right, so we're inside here at Dub, and funnily enough, behind me, we have a BMW M2. Stu, uh, the main man, the magician, is working on this. As you can see, this one has the rear diffuser, and it makes it look so much better. Honestly, this is what is gonna happen to mine. Not today, but it will happen. Um, and this one has the M Performance exhaust, so just, the exhaust just look a little bit beefier. It's got the carbon fiber on it as well, doesn't it? So you've got these sort of carbon fiber side blades as well. I do need to get that. Um, this car has been blacked out. That looks quite cool there. Uh, oh yeah, you have the sort of the fins which come up here. They are awesome. Um, so I do need to sort that. Again, all this needs to be sorted and is in the process. I got the sort of the M, that's quite cool. Yeah, the client's added that to it himself, like multiple colours. Yeah, that is quite cool, isn't it? Also got the carbon fibre mirror caps on there as well. As you can see, the badges have already been taken off to be darkened out. Terry is apparently doing the grill or starting the grill. You can get grills from BMW which are darkened out, but at the moment Dub said they can do it, I thought uh, we might as well just do that. We're going to do these badges darkened out. Smoke out the M2 badge as well. The windows need to be darkened. They're a little bit too light at the moment, so we're going to do that. Another part on this blue one, which I haven't shown you, which I do want to do on mine, uh, is this rear lip. That looks very good, this carbon fibre. Sean's about to break it. <laughs> <laughs> he said don't film this, now I'm filmed it now. I want to quickly show this McLaren 720. This is the first one wrapped ever. So I'm told. It's like a, it's like a sap, what is it? It's like a, it's got like gold flakes in it, doesn't it? I personally think what they're changing it to is very, very cool. How good does that look? That's so, so cool. With gold wheels with the flake, sort of, sort of changing color a bit here as well. That is nice. What we also have, we have 458, which, is, oh, which I saw the other day. One day, I want to own one of them, don't get me wrong. It's just, oh, I'm just drawn to them all the time. I'm like, please, please, please. We shall see in the future. The first tint is going on. This man is a tint magician, aren't you? Wizard. 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 Tint wizard. I think that is gonna change the car so much, just the tints. Probably looks darker than it's actually gonna be, doesn't it? Yeah, it's doubled up at the moment. Oh, so, <laughs> I was gonna say, Still that's dark. The same time. Okay, fair enough. Terry <laughs> is wrapping the grill. Is that good, mate? All right. Blacking out that, aren't we? Yep. That's and a very really simple these job. These as well on the rear. Oh yeah, the rear ones. Oh, you've done that as well. Nice. That's for the. What do we call that? Just a side. Credit for that. I did that one. No, <laughs> that's <laughs> no did that's you? One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That. This is the one that you did, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Boof. <laughs> that looks so much better, doesn't it? It just. I was just saying to Stu, it just totally sort of all makes much more sense. It's just so nice to be de chrome I just, I can't believe the difference that that makes. It makes it look so stealthed out. That's only the first one we've done. In fact, 
The windows are done. Oh, they are done. There you go. <laughs> so the windows are actually done as well. So I think they look really good. We're giving it a full stealthed out effect, which, which is what I wanted. Right, Nick here has the blacked out grill. Which, did you do it? Yes, you did. And we also, <laughs> and we also have, let's show this one. So the difference is massive, isn't it? Let's be honest, let's have a look at the difference. Yeah, look at that. It makes so much difference. So we're obviously on the car. Yeah. You can see the oh, mate. It's so, it's a, it is night and day, isn't it? I lived with that. I was like, that's fine, that's fine. But it's not, is it? It's, it's really not fine. The last part of the grill is all done. We're just putting it on now, or Sean is. Look at that, and as you can see, look at that badge. You've blackened out that as well. Look at that from the front. Oh, yes. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> You're looking how bad the paint is. Is it, ba is it bad? Um, it could be better. <laughs> Okay, so the smallest thing can make the biggest difference when you are sort of doing a couple of modifications. I'm well aware that you might not think these, these are big mods that we are doing, but this badge. Oh, <laughs> that went wrong. Um, the BMW badge. So obviously you have the blue here. What Dub have done, they've got a bit of vinyl and they've just covered it. How much better does that look? But I think that makes such a big difference. I'm getting way too excited about a badge. So it's decided to rain here, probably the worst possible time here at Dub because the car is now pretty much complete. There's a few badges still to go. And then it'll be like, hey! <laughs> you carry on. <laughs> um, as you can see what is happening here, uh, Stu is quickly giving it a clean in uh, this monsoon. I like calling it a monsoon and then everyone says that's clearly not a monsoon. I, I, I realise that part. Do you want to do some more snow foam, mate? Oh, now we're talking. I won't put it to music because people will probably get bored of that. But look at that. It's so satisfying. Can I have a go at the gun? Oh, yes. I just want the feeling of shooting my own car with snow foam. Can you imagine if I got you at this point? <laughs> that's so satisfying, isn't it? Oh. Now it looks totally different. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the thing is, when stuff like this happens, it's usually me when I come down here and I'm like, yeah, I'm wrapping my car. No, 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 no. That all stealthed out look, when it's clean, it's gonna look epic. We are gonna do the reveal and what it looks like now so you guys can sort of see all the change that we've done. We're gonna do it inside. A bit of a shame I can't show you it outside, uh, but we'll do it under the lights and hopefully it will be just as good. So, three, two, whoa, did that totally wrong. Three, two, one, go. My BMW M2 with a sort of all stealthed out look now. I'm so happy with the small changes which the guys here at Dub have done. And it does make such a big difference. So we've done the M2 badge on the back. We've also done the BMW badges. We've darkened out the blue. And now that all just works really well when you sort of get close, you can see it. It just all makes much more sense. And that's probably how the car should have been um, when it sort of left the factory, if that makes sense, in my eyes. All the chrome bits have just gone. Um, but the best bit of all of this whole car is the front grille. How good does that now look? It just looks so cool. And even smaller details, like the sort of little M2 badge there, and obviously BMW badge on the front. But uh, yeah, all these here, the sort of BMW badges. It's honestly, it's just a little bit of vinyl which has gone over the top of the blue part. Obviously, there are a lot more things to do to this. This is just a small sort of, of things to come. This is a small part, including the rear diffuser, the exhaust, etc. It's all to come. But honestly, I absolutely love this car. I haven't actually driven it that much because living in London, I haven't sort of enjoyed it to the full potential. So I'm just going to really just start 
driving it more, enjoying it, because it's such a good little car. And I always have to remember that this is my daily driver and I have an R8 as my supercar and it's just the coolest thing ever. It really, really is. There is gonna be a lot more M2 content coming up. It's all coming up in the next few weeks. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very soon.